we want to work some more with probability, but we're going to get in a bit deeper with the different types of probability. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to work from a table. So we have math majors and business majors, and we have green-eyed people and blue-eyed people, and we are going to first complete the table. So you'll notice my math majors go across uh, the first row here. So we have 20 plus 70, which is 90 math majors. Then we look at our business majors, 30 plus 30 is 60. And now if we look vertically, we will notice that 90 plus 60 is 150. And we have 50 green-eyed people and 100 blue-eyed people. All right, now that we have that taken care of, we are ready to do some problems. So first, what is the probability someone chosen has green eyes? Now that's basic, right? We're choosing someone, they have green eyes. So that's total. So we're looking at come on drawing tool, we're looking at green eyes over the total. So I have 50 green eyed people and I have 150 total. Now that does reduce to one third if we uh, get that far here. All right, next letter C, what is probably someone chosen is a business major? Well, there are 60 business majors out of 150, so that reduces to two. Okay, just basic. We're looking at, you know, the, the overall. Now we get into ones that are a little more tricky. So what is the probability someone is a math major or has green eyes? So we're looking at those people that are math majors or the people that have green eyes. So we have a little bit of overlap. You'll notice there are 20 people that have green eyes and math majors. So you can do it two ways. The first way is saying, well, if I do math majors, that's 20 plus 70. And then I have the extra 30 people who are green eyes, which gives me 120 over 150, which is four fifths. That's one way to do it. The other way is to say, we would do the probability of math majors plus the probability of green-eyed people minus the probability of those that are math and green-eyed. So math would give us 90 over 150. Green gives us 50 over 150. And then we subtract the overlap because we counted that 20 twice. And if you do that, you'll notice that 90 plus 50 minus 20 leads us back to the 120 over 150, which equals four fifths. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get rid of this blue box. Let's go to letter E, and I need some room, so we're gonna just chop off part of this here. Um, letter E, what is the probability someone is a math major and has green eyes? Ooh, okay, so let me get, let me go back to our table up here. So we're looking at math major, which is this row, and green eyes. Now the key here is the word and, because we only care about those that have the overlap. The math and green. So math and green is 20 over the total of 150. So that reduces to just two fifteenths. So you have to keep in mind whether you have the word or or and because it makes a difference. And then let's look at letter F. What is the probability someone is not a math major? Well, there are 90 out of 150 who are math majors. That means everybody else is not a math major. So to find, we would take one minus the probability of the math majors. So I would take 1 minus 90 over 150, which if you think of this in terms of fractions, 150 over 150 is the same as 1. Minus 90 over 150 gives me 60 over 150. And I know you're thinking right now, well, Becky, we could have just looked at the business majors. And yes, that is true. However, you will come up with problems that maybe don't have a simple table or that have a really large table, and it really will be easier to do that subtraction piece. So thinking about not is one minus that. Okay, now there's the problems, but I wanna just talk about these pieces. So the use of not, we call this the complement. So if I have the probability of E 
and the probability of not E, which is this little mark here, together, these are going to equal 1. So let's say the probability of rain, let's say the event is rain. So the probability that it's going to rain is 10%. That means the probability that it's not going to rain, so this is the probability of not rain, would be everything else, which is 90%. And 10% plus 90% gives me one. So the idea of complement is that the two pieces together will give you one, which is why if we know one of these probabilities, we can subtract from one to find the other. And when you see the word and, you want to think overlap. Where do those two pieces overlap? We have to have just the overlap. Um, whereas if you're thinking or, we literally can have either or. So you have um, the event one plus the event two, and then you want to subtract the overlap because you count that overlap in each spot. Shown in um, the green eyed one that we did, right? Because if you do green eyes and the math major, you'll notice that we circled the 20 twice, and that's where we get that overlap. So the real difference between and an or is that an and you only want the overlap and with or you have to add two events and subtract the overlap if you do it the mathematical way. So that's the uh, or and and not examples and probability.